Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my press conference. Do you remember the struggles of the early season? The preseason didn't go as planned and we started really slow. We have won only one game out of the first five and now you can start this team really gelling together and we are on a magnificent winning run. To the fans who are saying that the League Cup is only a Mickey Mouse competition, it's a very important trophy. Our aim at Liverpool is to try and win as many trophies playing attacking beautiful football so enjoy the ride and support the team any questions i'm lee from sky sports steven gerrard said it's been a dream coming back to liverpool chubby Rozo said we missed playing for liverpool alongside gerrard what do you think about these quotes from your players very good question lee i like you i like these questions i know how the fans feel i know how steven gerrard feels he is a liverpool fan i'm a liverpool fan as well we both want the best for Liverpool Football Club so it was an absolute dream for me to bring Gerard back and I'm so happy that he's contributing I think he can do a lot more than he already has done same with Chubby Alonso I think he can add a lot more to the team he's just getting used to his new teammates and Gerard and Alonso together in midfield they can still do the business what is up guys it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Road Show with a brand new episode that I'm absolutely buzzing because Liverpool won yesterday Yesterday, and now we are in second place and let's try and replicate that in this career mode let's try and challenge for the league title as well so if you want to see the next episode very soon get this video to 700 likes thank you so much for 99,000 subscribers guys we are so so close to 100k my dream since I started this channel six years ago tell your friends to subscribe and hopefully we can get there together and let me know where are you watching from and since when are you subscribed to this channel so how many subscribers did I have when you first subscribed? I know there are some OG guys who have been subscribed for years. And I'm playing this team in the League Cup because we have injuries to a lot of players like Bailey. A weird selection, Vinaldum as a striker, you might ask, what's that all about? Well, he has a pace and he has 76 finishing. And because uh, Origi is injured and I don't want to, to risk Storage getting injured as well, I'm playing Vinaldum up front and also Milner and Dahoud starts in midfield, Alexander Arnold starts at right back, so really pumped for this game. Oh, look at that! Oh, I've never seen this before, this cutscene. The, the Liverpool players were walking in the tunnel, and there was a Liverpool badge, really cool. Oh, Dennings. Danny! Over the bar. Damn! Unlucky! Oh, Donnarumma, well done. Very good Whoa! Some in this no! Sako slid in. I... Come on. Lalana is in. Bang it! What a tackle! Come on. Come on. Vinadum! Oh! Bang! Oh, oh what a goal! <laughs> Just one perfect passing move, one great attack, and what a strike by Wijnaldum. I told you guys he has great finishing, I put him up as a striker and he scores. Great cracking goal. Oh, Pulisic, bang! Oh, look at that, Pulisic doesn't have the finishing. <laughs> look at me, just... Oh, go on. Oh, look at that! First time cross! And Lalana! Unlucky. Oh, Pulisic is very unlucky. He picked up a knock. Let's bring on uh, Gerard. Gerard going into his stride now. Oh! Oh! Gerard! What a run! Oh my goodness, Gerard is amazing! Can I curl this in? Come on, Stevie. Oh no! Here's the post! I can't believe it! Get in there, guys! We won the game! Vinadum playing as a striker, scoring the winner. And we deserved it! We had twice as many shots as Millwall, more possession. And this passing move and this goal by Jorginho Vinadum. Oh my word, that's just spectacular finish! 
as you guys know, we are not in Europe, so the League Cup is very, very important. Chelsea lost to Man City, so they are out. Man United are through. Tottenham lost to Exeter City at home. What a shock result. So that means that Chelsea and Tottenham, two of the favorites, are out. We get Burton Albion in the quarterfinals. And again, Manchester Derby in the League Cup quarterfinals. So we are so, so lucky with the draw. And as you know, we won a lot of games in a row. So I think it's time to pump up difficulty back to legendary I think I'm used to the gameplay now as you can see we are in third place at the moment But Crystal Palace away. It's a bogey ground for Liverpool but I really want to pick up the three points here Danny Ings, Sturridge and Mane starts up front Coutinho, Alonso and Gerrard in midfield Salhurst Park one of the grounds that I don't really like playing at Crystal Palace always are up for the games here and Crystal Palace have the best defense in the whole Premier League. Oh, look at Alan Pardew. Why not do that Alan Pardew dance, bro? <laughs> I wish uh, EA would include that when every time Crystal Palace score, Alan Pardew would, that, would do that dance which he did in the FA Cup final. Wow, he, he looks just like him in real life. Fantastic with the Frostbite engine. And I look nervous. Oh, money, money, free shot. Whoa, Mandanda, amazing save. Storage. Storage! Oh! Boom! <laughs> that is storage! <laughs> Let's do the storage then, bro! <laughs> what an incredible start! Dra storage drops his shoulder and he rifles it into the far corner. Beauty! Come on! Make the run! Beautiful! Storage! Oh! Lucky son. Please! Danny Ings, surely! What a save, Mandanda! Come on, Mane! Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. Gerard! Oh my god! Steven Gerard is just amazing. Look at that. That is stands on the on the scoreboard. I, lo I wanted to do a scoreboard celebration for so long. Again, he drops his shoulder just like Sturridge. And then, this is why I brought him back, guys. What a finish. Steven Gerrard, legend. Come on. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Alonso Mandanda again. Go on, Sturridge. Oh, nice. Nice. Storage! Free! Oh my word, this is amazing! Daniel Storage with two goals and we are running right here to Salas Park. I'm just clinical today. Fantastic! These crossbody shots work so well. If you struggle with finishing, try to aim your, your body to one side and shoot to the other side. A cross goal. I think that's, that's what works. And Alan Pardew just cannot believe. Can you bury this? That's the big question. Come on, Stevie! Oh! Oh my word! I thought was going in. Oh, that is a world-class save. Can he do it this time? Come on, Stevie! Gerard! Oh my God! Let's do a cameraman celebration. Yes! I'm putting away all my chances. What a free kick by Gerard! 4 nail in the first half. Absolutely insanity. Oh my god, Klein! Nathan Klein! Oh, straight in Mandanda. Could have... Oh boy. Oh no! Karius! Ah, he couldn't save the rebound. These rebound goals are so annoying. I can't really do much about that. Unlucky Karius. Come on, Alonso! Oh, another save, Mandanda. Continue. Mane? Oh my word, Mandanda is doing incredibly well. Let's bring on Alexander Arnold, Henderson and Emre Can. I'm keeping Sturridge and Gerrard on the pitch because both of them are on a hat trick. Oh, come on, no! No! I got the ball! Raf, don't ruin this for me! Watch this, guys. I clearly kicked the ball away. I think he's going to the right. No! 
Again, I can't believe this. Again, I dive the right way and the Karius doesn't save it. It's 4-2. Oh, Karius, come on. Save that, bro. Go on. Beautiful! Henderson! It's 5! Oh, Henderson coming on as a substitute makes it 5 2. A brilliant passing again. Emre Chan slips in Henderson. And the key to this was first time finish. See you later, Empire. You. <laughs> brilliant. What an attacking masterclass this was, guys. We scored 5 goals against the Chris Palace side. We conceded six goals all season. We had, and to be fair, we could have scored even more goals. And this was coming, guys, because every single game I'm creating so many opportunities. Who was the man of the match? I wonder. It was Steven Gerrard with a 9.5 match rating. Wow. Working on the finishing of the likes of Danny Ings and Sadio Mane and Origi and other players worked like a charm because we are scoring so many goals. And I decided to train Alexander Arnold this week as well as well as. Donnarumma. We have some great news. So the Liverpool board actually congratulates us, congratulates us that we sold 85 million pounds worth of shirts and it's only what like October or November. Also let's check on the youth development objectives. So in the short term they say I should grow one youth economy player by at least five overall points and play them in five matches. I think I need to maybe promote a youth academy player so we will look into that very soon. And also great news that Divo Corrigi returns from his injury. And guys, my home nation, Hungary, offers me an international management offer. And I just cannot turn this down, guys. Every year, I absolutely love playing with Hungary as at the start. And my aim is to try and qualify for the World Cup, to the Euros, and try to win the tournament. And I think with Hungary, a small nation, they are like a three star or a three and a half star team on FIFA. It's always such a big challenge, and I really hope that. You guys will enjoy watching me play with Hungary. I will, I will only show you the competitive games. And I also wanted to check the Youth Academy and I wanted to show you this guy, Ian Murphy. Some of you guys said that I should send out my Youth Scouts to Ireland, to the Republic of Ireland, because Liverpool have a great Irish connection and they have a really good heritage of bringing through Irish players, signing Irish players. Because we already found a 60-rated young 15-year-old whose potential is 86 to 94 and he has been at the youth academy for one or two months now I can't promote him yet because you know he's only 15 uh, in the years to come he will be definitely a player who could become an absolute legend for us because he has 80 acceleration 75 spin speed 57 finishing but that can be trained so yeah he already looks like a really really promising player and we and then we have this guy a German centre midfielder whose potential is 83 to 94 he's also only 15 years old and also very good at speed he's a right midfielder midfielder as well and now let's check on the Premier League table and I'm so happy that we are actually in a second place Chelsea are first they played one game more than us and they won that game but now we now have the joint the best goal difference in the Premier League and I'm rubbing shoulders with Manchester City Man United are in fourth place Tottenham Arsenal are also up there and uh, Everton as well. Hey, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool episode. This is a somewhat a little bit shorter episode than usual because I'm going over to my girlfriend's house and we are going to uh, have an awesome date. But uh, tomorrow I will be back with more Liverpool carrier mode episodes with free games per episode from tomorrow. So stay tuned and also the journey will continue very soon. Thanks for watching guys. Stay awesome. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later. Goodbye.